Hey there, we have like eons of stories to tell, so if you want to follow us along on this journey and, and keep up with all the stories that we have putting out, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Uh, hope you enjoy. Thank you. What's up, y'all? Today we are going to be starting Secret Wars. Not that Secret Wars 2015, because that, alright, so basically, if you're, um, I gotta explain this real quick. If you, uh, if you've been looking at the uh, MCU uh, plan, right, and you see in uh, phase, uh, what is it, six, I think? And you see Avengers Secret Wars, uh, that's basically 2015 Secret Wars. This Secret Wars here is 1984. They're both really good, but they're like distinctly different. So basically like the incursions and you know the Illuminati, you know, uh, being like the hand behind all the uh, stuff happening uh, in, in Secret Wars. That's basically to, uh, Secret Wars 2015. That's the one that the MCU is basing that off of. And uh, this one right here is like basically like a marketing story. It was basically like so um, like all everyone could be seen as uh, you know what they are, you know, and make them more interesting pretty much, you know. So uh, basically, uh, what happens is, all like while this is going on, like all the heroes, right? Like they all get teleported to this like this spaceship, right? So they're all on a spaceship, you know. They start taking like roll call, you know. They're looking, and everybody's like, okay, well, the Avengers are here, you know. We got Walls, Captain America, Iron Man, She Hulk, Thor, Hawkeye, Captain Marvel. You got the X Men here, Professor X, Storm, Nightcrawler, Rogue, Cyclops, Wolverine, Colossus. Uh, you got Spider-Man, Hulk, uh, Reed Richards, The Thing, Magneto, and Human Torch. Now, Magneto is here for a reason, all right? They, they didn't just, like, mess up. Uh, he's here for a reason. So, Magneto, at the time this story was being written, he was technically a villain, yes. But he was on his way to becoming a good guy, right? So, like, everyone wanted him, like, they wanted him to be seen as a, uh, as a good guy, right? Even though he was a villain, like, like currently through the story. So, uh, basically, like, when, when they're there... Like, they, they start looking, you know, they're like, oh, well, Magneto's here, why is he here? And they actually realize, you know, there's more people, like, alright, so, like, this other spaceship, right? There's this other spaceship, and, like, villains get teleported to that one, right? Like, all the villains, right? You got Amor the Enchantress, you got Ultron, Crusher Crew the Absorber Man, you know, he's, he's really powerful. You got the Wrecking Crew, I don't really care about those guys, like, they're just, honestly, like, they're just, like, in the way, right? Uh, so, the thing right here about Kang... He like refers to him as his future counterpart. I don't know if he's like saying that that he's a descendant of uh, Doctor Doom because Kang's from the future, so I'm not I'm not too sure like how that you know rolls around. Uh, you got Galactus, you got uh, the Lizard, Owen Reese, uh, the Molecule Man. He's like he's gonna be real important in this story. He's gonna be like the the, the main you know big guy in this story. You got Doctor Octopus and you got Doctor Doom, right? So the heroes, you know, they're still talking about Magneto, right? They're like, okay, why is he over here? He's a he's a villain. He he kills people. And Magneto, he's just like, okay, well, I mean, is it is it really evil to you know? Uh, protect my people is it evil for you know to fight against oppression because like they, we get oppressed like every day mutants don't have it easy you know like we get we get you know uh hunted down because like they're like the entirety of uh, the x-men like you know lifestyle like they there's like so many different uh like organizations that get created to you know like hunt these guys down like like that's that's like you know something that happens consistently right so he's basically like talking about that and they end up like noticing something from you know outside the shuttle right so they noticed something outside the shuttle, right? And basically, the galaxy uh, of like where they where they were at basically just gets destroyed. It just get, it just gets like it, it basically like going through a, a paper shredder. Like it just gets like eaten up. Like it, it just gets taken out instantly. So we already know, like by virtue of that, that it, this is there. There's like a high threat level going on. Like like whatever's going on is like gonna be real dangerous if it don't get stopped pretty soon, right? And like while while that uh, galaxy is getting destroyed, right? Like these chunks of this like this, the, these planets, right? They just like start slamming into like slamming into each other, right? They start slamming into each other, and they make this one large planet, right? So, Doctor Doom, he's like, okay, he's impressed. He's like, okay, damn, like whatever kind of power this is, this is like like unimaginable. Like this is crazy. Like this is impossible. Like how's this even happening? And like the villains, like they just start like arguing with each other, right? You know, like doing what villains do. You know, they just start fighting with each other and stuff like that. And like as soon as they start arguing. Ultron, he loses it. <laughs> Ultron loses it and start attacking everybody. And like, what, like the thing, like, like this will tell you like how strong Owen Reese is, right? So while Ultron's like attacking everybody, right? Doctor Doom, he runs straight to Owen Reese. He runs straight to the Molecule Man and just like starts like pleading him, like the you know, like save us, all right? Only person here who can like you know survive this would probably be like a Crusher Krill, because you know he can absorb like whatever, uh, like uh, whatever material he's like touching so he could like uh, he could he could survive this you know he could just like absorb ultron's adamantium and you know, just like survive that stuff everybody else would die except galactus right so uh like he's like basically like asking uh, owen reese to like take out ultron right 
But Owen Reese, he's like, okay, no, I don't do that no more. I'm not the Molecule Man. I'm just Owen Reese, right? Like, let me let me go hide or something. Like, I don't I don't want to, you know, like sit through this. And basically, like he's like uh, Doctor Doom. He's just like, okay, well, well, how about you do this, right? And like this is where we see uh, Owen Reese. He just like picks up Ultron. He's like, okay, yeah, I can do that. He picks up Ultron and like throws him into Galactus's leg, right? Because Galactus, he doesn't ever notice stuff like like he don't he doesn't notice uh, like mortal beings like you know like like stuff that they have going on, right? Like he just like you know ignores it. He doesn't really care. You know, it's not that big a deal to him, right? So he's just like ignoring these guys until Ultron. Like slaps his leg, right? So he picks up Ultron and he just like siphons off his life force, uh, his life force, right? Just takes Ultron out just like that. So with that going on, you know, he just like like, like snuffed Ultron out with the greatest of ease. Uh, there's like this, this huge bright light in like the void of space, right? Like this, like this, like this, like this opening, and like this bright light just like shines right through it. And like as soon as that happens, we get this voice, right? I am from beyond. Slay your enemies, and all you desire shall be yours. Nothing you dream of is impossible for me to accomplish. And like as soon as Galactus hears that, he's like, okay, I'm gonna need you to take this hunger from me then. <laughs> Cause that's the thing about Galactus, he like he's always hungry. Like no matter how much he eats, he is always hungry. And basically, like he's gonna go and try to get this thing to like basically you know take his hunger away from him. You know, like satiate his hunger for good, right? So, with that happening, Doctor Doom, you know, he follows Galactus because Galactus is going up to try to like you know like like you know meet this guy, right? Like so, Galact uh, so Doctor Doom follows him, and like as soon as they get up to this like opening in space, like they try to get into it, you know, this this thing is just like okay, yeah, you can't get through here, right? And like as soon as they try to get through there, they get slapped away. They just get like swatted away, no problem. So like whatever this thing is is like ridiculously powerful to like slap Galactus and knock him unconscious because Galactus is unconscious, like he went to sleep, like. <laughs> Galactus went to sleep like so for something to be that strong is insane. So uh, we actually get the ships right both of these shuttles They like like they go to different parts of this makeshift planet, right? They go to different parts of the planet and basically uh, the heroes when they come out of their uh, their ship they basically realize you know they're, they're just trying to, like trying to make sure that the villains don't you know catch them off guard because they don't know what's going on they don't know like where the villains are and then they end up realizing that uh, Magneto he's still there right and Magneto he's like he's going on again you know trying to plead his case you know he's like okay well we get hunted down you know all the time like like y'all don't help us you know we have to do this ourselves you know I might be an extremist yeah but I'm an extremist against oppression so like is that really bad you know stuff like that which is a damn good point like <laughs> Magneto is the only one thinking clearly here. So uh, basically, like with, with him saying all that, you know, he's just saying that he only wants to, you know, the, what's good for mutant kind, pretty much, right? The X Men start agreeing, agreeing with him, right? Because like he's an X Men villain, and for them to like, you know, side with him, you know, it's saying something. But uh, like most of the like other heroes, you know, they're, they're basically just seeing them as, you know, like like you know, playing sides, pretty much, you know, basically like, like uh, stuff like that. But basically, you know, they they agree with him, you know, saying like his power is too, uh, his power is too great to, you know, like. Uh, to uh, just like dismiss him pretty much because Magneto you know, he of, of all the heroes he's easily the most powerful like like no question about it like he, he's at the top of the top of the hero of the hero chain except maybe like Thor and that's something he said like he, he's gonna uh, like throw that out there right so basically uh like when the heroes like they start arguing and stuff like Human Torch he's just like okay yeah I'm gonna go take this guy out real quick so Magneto he just like starts taking everybody out he just like like knocks all them out because they're, they're trying to take them down right so he's just like okay yeah y'all wanna fight me Bet, see what's up. And this is where he says, like, you know, okay, only one here who can, like, probably, like, you know, take me down is Thor. And even then, it's like, that might be a little, you know, a little reach, you know, like, he. <laughs> Magneto just talks so much shit. So basically, um, he ends up leaving, right? Because, like, the X Men, right? They're, like, they're, they're getting ready to fight the Avengers because they don't want to, they don't want to, you know, just, like, get rid of Magneto. He's powerful. So, you know, they're, they're end up going to fight. And Magneto, he's just like, okay, no. No mutant blood is gonna be spilled while I'm here, right? So he ends up leaving, right? So no one will be fighting him. So uh, the heroes, they end up like looking for a leader, right? The first person they go to would be Reed Richards. Of the heroes, he's easily the smartest. Like he's probably the smartest person on this planet at the time. You know, maybe like him and like Doctor Doom are like you know tied. You know, but uh, basically like like they they try to get Reed to be their leader, right? And Reed, he's like explaining like, okay, no, my my family is back on Earth. I'm gonna be you know preoccupied with that kind of stuff, you know, right? Because he has an unborn kid. You know, Franklin hasn't been uh, born yet, and basically. Uh, he you know he's worried about that. They end up choosing uh, Captain America, right? So they choose Captain America, and he like tries to hand it off to Professor X, and he's like, okay, you know, Cap, I might be able to you know like read minds, but you know I can read hearts too, you know stuff like that. And you got the best heart out here. You should be the leader, you know. So basically, um, with that happening, right? Captain America, he's the leader of the uh, the, the the heroes, and basically, uh, Doctor Doom, he ends up waking up because like him and Galactus got pieced, like they got nothing. <laughs> They got knocked unconscious by this by this opening, right? So he ends up like uh, going away, and he finds his citadel, right? 
So he goes in there, and like all of the villains are in there, like more the Enchantress, the Wrecking Crew, all these guys, Crusher, Cre Crusher Creel, all these people are in there, and they end up asking him to be their uh, to be their leader, pretty much. Because Doctor Doom, he's the smartest one there. You know, he has the ambition, the drive, he has the actual like intelligence, you know, to lead these people, right? He would like if anyone to be the best leader here, it would be Doctor Doom, and they know this, right? So. Like when he when they you know uh, like ask him to be their leader right he he throws out the idea of instead of you know fighting for their prize they should fight for the the this 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 creature's you know power instead because this this he he was able to just like destroy a galaxy just like with no problem like like easily like he can do like if they take the power of this guy they can literally do whatever they want instead of just having like a one time prize why not just take the power and you know just like have whatever you want for good you know stuff like that and Doctor Doom clearly is the only one who's actually thinking right so. They end up like refusing, right? And Doctor Doom, he's like, oh, "Okay, y'all are all idiots, right?" And he just like starts destroying all that stuff, and like flies out, right? So like, as soon as he flies out, he finds this ship. He finds the ship, and he gets on it, and he's like, like about to like go away to like go find uh, Reed Richards. Like he's looking for his nemesis, basically, you know, to talk to him about it, you know. And basically, like when he's leaving, he goes and like shoots. Uh, Kang goes and like shoots him down, basically, like you know, like trying to get him keep uh, Doctor Doom from going to you know, like like ask the heroes for help, pretty much, right? So. When they, when he gets shot down, right, he like lands like not far from the heroes, and like all of them they rush over to him, you know, like the, you know, they try to they try to help him, but they're like you no, know, like staying like weary, you know, like like okay, yeah, like he's hurt, you know, but 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 he's a villain, you know, like let's not get too close, you know, stuff like that. And basically, like he gets up, right, and like instead of asking for help, he's like okay, he's he's just kind of pissed off, right, because like they're, they're no one's trying to like help him pretty much, right. So he just like like sh like attacks these guys and leaves, right. And like as soon as he leaves, all the villains show up. Like now, uh, with the villains showing up at this time, it's, it's basically like out of the blue. Like like no one knew that they were coming. So like as soon as the villains show up, they take out a few of the heroes. Like as soon as they get there, right? So like the heroes are getting just like like pummeled right now. So uh, Doctor Doom, with him flying away, right? He ends up finding Galactus, and Galactus, you know, he just he was knocked out. You know, he just starts waking up, right? And like as soon as Doctor Doom gets down there, he's like like looking at uh, guy Galactus. You know, he's expecting himself to like pick himself up, and he's like, okay, no, like he just like levitates himself and like stands up. So this is where Doctor Doom like asks him for help. So with Doctor Doom asking him for help, he ends up like uh, like realizing that Galactus is like ignoring him. You know, like this thing again with Galactus. You know, he he doesn't really care about like about the uh, the you know what what mortals are doing pretty much, right? So. Doctor Doom, he ends up like leaving, right? He ends up like finding the base of the villains, right? To like look for stuff, you know, like see if he can find stuff that'll help him with his plan. And like while he goes in there, you know, uh, he actually ends up finding the uh, the body of Ultron, which is actually gonna be like super useful for him, right? So. With the heroes, they're they're fighting, and they, they actually end up like fighting off the the villains and stuff. You know, they got overpowered at first, but then they actually like you know they made a comeback. You know, <laughs> and they end up like taking out some of the villains, right? She Hulk takes out a more of the Enchantress, and you know like some of the villains get captured, you know stuff like that, and like it leaves all the other ones just like you know scattering, you know like running to the wind pretty much, right? So they end up like retreating, and uh, so what that happens, what happens with that is uh all of the uh, the heroes, right? They actually leave, right? And they actually like find shelter. They find this like huge base, like this like this real big building, right? So they go in there and they decide to make that their base of operations. And like you're, keep in mind, like during this entire time, they don't know if they're gonna go home. Like they like they have no clue if they're gonna make it back to Earth. So with that going on, they actually end up trying to uh, decide whether they should attack the villains or you know just like like leave them, you know, just like let them let them be, right? Because basically, if they were to attack the villains, you know, and have any advantage. If they were to lose that advantage, it would it would like really suck. You know, that's what they're trying to you know like that's what they're trying to decide pretty much, right? So, with that happening, we actually find out that Magneto has his own fortress, right? And he's actually gonna go to the uh, the hero base, and, you know, like look for some stuff. So, uh, with uh, with the villains, you know, they actually end up going back to their base, and they see Doctor Doom, right? He's like guarding the uh, the entrance to it, and like they're just like giving them like like giving them shit pretty much, like they're just like talking trash to him, like oh you were you were scared to fight these guys, like what, like what's going on with you, man, like stuff like that. And basically they're gonna go and try to attack him. As soon as they try to do that, Ultron blasts them, like he blasts all these guys, and they're just like okay, you got Ultron on your side. You got it, bro. And like, they're just like, okay, yeah, you can be a leader, whatever. And like, stuff like that. And Dr. Doom, he's like, all right, well, come in then. And like, as soon as they come in, this is something that, that don't really like ever happen much, right? So like, Owen Reese, like, he's talking to Owen Reese. He's like, okay, well, Mr. Reese, I have like this special like chamber for you, you know, stuff like that. You know, like, like giving Reese, uh, Owen Reese, like, whatever he wants. So Owen Reese will, you know, like, side with him and, you know, like, help him and accomplish his plans and, you know, stuff like that. Because, uh, like, one of the guys here, he actually says, he, they're like questioning, like, why Dr. Doom is acting like that. Because that's, that's not something that he normally does. Like, he sees himself above everybody. You know, but he's acting like Owen Reese is, you know, like, you know, like an equal to him, pretty much. You know, like basically talking to him in that sense. And like, there's like, oh, well, what's wrong with Doctor Doom? And and the other guy's just like, okay, well, I mean, that guy there, you know, controlling at, at, like atoms and you know stuff like that. Like, I mean, he's probably the most powerful one here, you know, stuff like that. And basically, like trying to, uh, you know, get him to, you know, help him with his bidding, pretty much. So, with Magneto. 
he's like going into the hero base right like he goes in there and he's like what he's doing is he's playing like you know like create a diversion right to play, uh, create a diversion and basically take this like this this energy thing like this energy uh, reactor basically from the uh, the hero so he can like use it for his own plans right so as soon as he does that like spider-man and the human torch right spider-man he goes to try to <laughs> Spider-Man goes to try to attack uh, attack Magneto, and Magneto just like wraps him up and just like sends him on his way. <laughs> and he just sends him on his way while uh, Human Torch is like going out, like making the Fantastic Four some right, you know, calling for you know reinforcements and stuff like that. So he ends up like taking out Spider-Man, and uh, basically all the heroes they just start trying to attack this guy, right? And Magneto he's just like taking him out one by one, just like 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 capturing everybody. And basically while he's doing that, he's like wrapping them all up in in metal. Wasp is like so small that she like st like slips through it, right? So like what he does is he takes like this other like piece of metal and like wraps it around her like super tight so she can't get out. And this is where he takes her like captive, right? So he takes her captive and like uh, basically uh, he just like leaves, right? And like while he's leaving the thing, she's he's like chasing him. He's like chasing him, and like while he's doing that, he ends up turning back into a human, right? He, so he turns back into a human, and everybody's just like preoccupied with that. They're just like, oh, what? They don't look, they don't even realize that Magneto just took uh took Wasp and just like you know dipped off, right? So basically, um. They actually end up start talking, right? And they actually end up noticing that the X-Men didn't even show up to fight Magneto, right? Like, they're just like, okay, well, what, what's going on with these guys? Are they, like, in cahoots or what? Like, like basically, like, you know, showing the the, the odds that the X-Men and the rest of the heroes are going to be at, pretty much, right? So, while they're doing that, they actually end up realizing that there's actually a bigger problem. Galactus is actually, like, in the midst of, you know, working out something. You know, they, they all find Galactus out there just standing. And they're just like, okay, what, what is this guy going to do? He's not doing nothing yet, but, like, the... The, like the energy like the the the, the sheer you know uh energy that he gives off like there's like okay this guy can take out a lot of stuff if he wants to he could do a lot of stuff but i mean like he's not so like should we worry about him you know stuff like that pretty much you know basically you know like talking about the the what ifs of what he can do because he's so powerful so um if you're new to the channel uh subscribe if you enjoyed the video leave a like and we will be continuing this later after after we do secret wars i'm gonna do secret wars 2 which is like a different story it's basically like a different like set of events, you know, like with the same people basically. So, um, uh, yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one. <laughs>